Hi, here we're looking at the Rainbow Epic Stargazer and of course Cozy Power's fantastic drumming on that track. And uh, what better place to start than the four bar drum solo intro. So the first bar of that sounds and looks something like this. So let's break that down a bit, that first figure on the snare, all single strokes. And then that uh, right, right, left figure moves on down the kit. It's hard to discern which version he plays towards the end as it gets down onto the floor tom because you could just continue that across the three toms. But then it also sounds like he breaks that last one up between the uh, bass drum and the, and the floor tom. So in short, you could just keep the right, right, left all the way down to the last floor tom. Or break that last bit up between the floor tom and bass drum. The next two bars are basically the same. We're playing two with the hands, two with the feet. <clears throat> Although it's not uh, right, left, right, left. The hands are actually playing left, right. So the other way round to the feet. And they're moving from the snare to the toms. It's interesting that Cozy plays that figure leading with the left hand as well as the last bar which is uh, you're playing these open hi-hat notes on the upbeat 16th notes. And once again here the left is, is playing the downbeat so you're basically playing single strokes but leading with your left hand. So let's just piece all of that together. At the end of that intro, there's a bar of 5-4 to look out for. So within that bar with the 16th notes, there's a, just one extra beat of 16th notes. The first groove features this two bar pattern. And it's worth noting there at the end of that second bar, there's a almost paradiddle type movement to punctuate that second 16th note of beat four with the crash. So before it, it plays, uh, uh, right, right, left, right, but it isn't underpinned with the bass drum. At the end of the verse, we've got the four quarter note crashes that lead us into the bridge and take us over to the hi-hat. But before that happens, we've got this figure. That fast movement you could think of as a four stroke rough with the fourth note played on the bass drum. So 
So you could think of that as right, left, right, kick. And that happens at lots of points uh, in the track. Sometimes after a longer snare drum fill. So the bridge takes us over to the hi-hats. We've still got that crash, crash to punctuate every two bars on the second 16th of beat four. The bass drum's a little straighter in general though. And that brings us to the chorus, which is basically the same uh, sort of feel as the verse, but without that crash every two bars. It's worth noting the odd time bar there. Those crashes, it's, it, you could think of it as a bar of three and then you've back, you're back into four, four. So this bar with the crashes is in three. So one, two, three. And shortly after that, there's another odd time bar to negotiate before we head into the second verse. So. Let, let's go from the fill after that uh, first chorus. So once again, it's perhaps easiest to think of that fill bar as being the bar of five. And so those last two uh, 16th notes that we play on the last floor tom, instead of the crashes this time, incidentally, um, are, are the first two 16th notes of the next bar of 4-4. Four, four. And that short fill that leads us back into the second verse is the E and uh of beat four. So uh, it's easy, perhaps easiest to play that left, right, left. So that same verse bridge chorus sequence goes around again. Uh, the next time we head to the guitar solo, uh, based over the same sort of feel as the chorus, interspersed with a few different fills. And that section finally builds towards these last nine bars. Perhaps also play that final feel where we've got the double bass drums just using the single pe pedal playing the E and uh of each beat instead. So 
So once we hit the crash after that double bass drum part, the fourth bar after that, we get this drum fill. And we're into the final verse and choruses, which basically just builds around that same chorus feel, just gradually getting more intense, laying into the ride cymbal, and ultimately crashing the two and four as well. <laughs> 